Let's go ahead and talk about databases. Yes, it's a really awkward territory. And eventually people have realized uh, that convenience sells. And that's the reason why MongoDB is so much popular. It's just not because of the YouTube videos are there. It's because it's easy to set up because it is. If you go on to MongoDB Atlas, it's just so easy to create your database for the first time, get the string and get it up and running. And that's what most of the teachers and YouTube uh, content creator wants you to see that, hey, it's easy to go and work. And then eventually you can figure out whether you want to use it or want to migrate and all these things. And this is same happening with the SQL side of the world. They have realized that it's not that easy for people to download the MySQL or PostgreSQL and install it and get it up and running. But rather, if we can provide a convenient service, a lot of people will be adopting to it and a lot of tutorial will be able to uh, be around that circle. And that's exactly what we'll be discussing. There are a few new contenders in the market in case you haven't seen that. Uh, recently, I did a full blown series on how to build your own uh, starter kit uh, using the SQL databases and whatnot. A whole lot of tech was used in that clerk and we used Prisma and whatnot. All, all right, all of that. Uh, in case you are new on this channel, uh, first of all, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We're going to talk about a lot of such juicy information about uh, what is happening in the tech. And in case you haven't yet followed me up on the Twitter, go ahead and search me up there as well, hitesh.com, D-O-T-C-O-M, and we're going to talk on that. But first, let me take you that why this space is getting interesting and why this video exists. You probably have seen the title as well, but uh, let me give you that. So just saw this announcement that Prisma is having a new banner which says a new era of Postgres SQL, try it now. Prisma Postgres is now available. All right, this is already interesting. A lot of people are migrating. So as I say, and as I always mention this, this convenience always sell. So if you go ahead and look onto this, so if I go ahead and open this up, uh, you already know this uh, MongoDB service, which is Atlas. This is their cloud storage. And one of the reason why too much of the adoption of MongoDB happened. Of course, it is a good database, nothing wrong with that side. But because of the pricing here, it is just free for me to try out and work with the MongoDB. So notice here, free tier, although it's just 512 MB and it's a shared one, but it gets me the feeling of how and what it takes to build a full stack applications, whether it's in Python or whether it's in a JavaScript ecosystem, it is there. And that is why you see a lot of tutorial and even the MERN stack got popular because of this, because it's a readily available database. And if you talk about the other databases, yes, MySQL is good, Postgres SQL is good, but they're not available easily, that easily at least. I have to configure them, install them, have to teach all of my students to work with that. This is pain, but luckily, a lot of people are understanding that convenience sells. And that is why we are seeing one more contender here. By the way, the reason why I'm saying this is one more contender here is uh, because if you go out and look out for this, there is already a database component here, which is Neon, and which says ship faster with Postgres. And if you look at their pricing, you're gonna see exactly same thing. It's a $0 plan. This is where the starting point is. This is where you take in the first developer in. And then if your product is good, if it is sticky, people will actually not mind to migrate into $19 plan or even $69 plan when they move into the corporate houses. And even, even a lot of developers do recommend these uh, because they have learned from YouTube and whatever they're comfortable with when they move into big tech organization, a lot of their uh, opinions are being asked and then say, hey, I'm already comfortable with MongoDB. Can't we just buy their upgraded plan and everything will work out of the box? The same plan is being up here. There is one more contender here, which is no longer much actively talked, but it's a good com a contender there. So there is a company known as Planet Scale, which does the same thing which all of them are trying to do on the, on the Postgres. Uh, they do it for uh, S MySQL. And, but recently they actually uh, changed their uh, pricing plan. Uh, they no longer actually offer the free ones. They actually go for a bit of a paid one. Uh, $39 is a little steep for people who are just getting started. They want something less or at least they want free. So Planet Scale for a really long time, they offered it for free. But after that they realized, nope, we want to actually be very serious and we don't want to offer. But again, this is, you're stopping the entry point of the developers, not a good, good sign. I, I wouldn't be getting onto that. Even if you make it $1, a lot of developer will mind uh, trying you. But if you make it just $0, even for one project and very, very tiny setup, probably less than 512 MBs, 
a lot of people will be happy and they would try to that. So reduce down the resources, not go this path. This is not a good path. So anyways, coming back on to the point, this same path is now being opted by Prisma and this is the first time I'm seeing it. So we're gonna explore this together. I saw this banner and I thought, let's make a video on this. This is interesting territory and you're gonna see in future, especially in 2025, a lot of tutorial using SQL equally as they were using the MongoDB. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's happening with you. So instant Postgres for global application. Oh, this is nice. Instant Postgres. So at least I don't have to worry about the configuration, clicking and all of that. Deploy a Postgres database in three clicks. Oh, you counted that. Uh, free to start and uh, uh, no setup, no commitment required. All right. All right, moving on. It says built for global workload. Okay, built for flexibility, built for developers. Oh, that's nice. Caching strategy. We'll come back onto this. Scalable real time restore. Okay, uh, let's see what's there more on to see. Explore our pricing. I think this is where I would love to see it first. It says starter, it is free, pay as you go. Five workspace project. I think good strategy. I would say that is much better. And okay, okay, okay. I would love to discuss this with you. Huh, this is interesting one. Probably you didn't notice it, but I would love to walk you through on this one. So in case you don't know, Prisma has a couple of other products as well. And you might have noticed uh, one of the other guys who actually work closely, probably onto the neck of Prisma is uh, Drizzle. So Drizzle guys are like alternative for Prisma and they actually compare them on right on their home screen, Drizzle and Prisma. Uh, performance wise, uh, as they claim, Drizzle is much better, much faster, and they are standalone ORM. But what a lot of people don't know is when you come to the Prisma side, they have a product suite as well. They are not just ORM, they're actually a little bit more on that. Now Postgres is of course there, but uh, Studio and ORM is what most people are aware of, but a lot of people don't know about it or not even a tiny bit aware of it is Optimize, Accelerate and Pulse. Optimize is AI-driven query analysis to make your queries more optimized and faster. Accelerate to make your database global and the Pulse. So these things are there which where you can have any kind of database uh, being on Neon or any place. And if you use these products, then you can make your queries faster and all those performance complaints that usually Prisma get can be avoided or can be reduced to a certain extent using these products. But the catch is that these products are not free. So you pay for the service. So if you use their URL, ORM, you could have avoided all of this by writing SQL, but since nobody wants to write the SQL, what is bothering me here is that if you go, let's just say onto the pro plan, you use everything up here, Postgres and everything, that's good, that's good. But now you start to pay for the queries that can scale up quite nicely. Uh, 60,000 queries included, which seems like a lot, but it is decent. And then you get $8 per million for additional queries. Why am I paying per query basis and not resource basis. Let's just see on the Neon as well. So Neon says, hey, you, let's just say I pay $19 to Neon and it says 100 projects, which is a lot. I don't know if I'll be using 500 branches, 10 GBs of storage, 300 compute hours. So, okay, that's, that's acceptable. If I'm using more of the compute resources, I want faster of the compute hours. I'm ready to pay more because it's compute and auto scaling up to four uh, CUs. So four CUs, oh, that's nice. Four CUs is four vCPU, 16 GB RAM. Oh, okay, it's great. Point in time restoration. This is something that I would easily be paying extra if I'm in production, but if that is all there, uh, seven days, I would really like to pay for this one easily if I'm in the production. But anyways, if I check this, there is no query based pricing. Yeah, who, who charges on the per query basis? This definitely doesn't, I know about them. Uh, but again, this is an interesting pricing that now you have to have to use Accelerate. So is there a way that I don't use Accelerate and still work with this one? I would love to try this out. By the way, this is just an exploration. Uh, I would love to see our open source ORM uh, is and always remains free. Okay, that's good. But can I use just the database and not the SL rate or pulse or all these things. I would love to query directly, but when, again, the problem is when you query directly with just the ORM, there is a performance drop. 
Uh, but again, do we have INR? Yes, I have INR. So, oh, love that, love that. So we are paying 4,000 rupees per month, but if this adds up, I am worried. If I'm not using Accelerate, I don't get performance, then, okay, so I, can I use like the Prisma DB and then use the Drizzle as an ORM? Can I mix and match? I need to try them out. I would love to try this. Okay, uh, again, so, like what I'm worried on this part is, is this a bundle pack? Just like in the Next.js, if you host the Next.js on Vorsal, uh, there is no way that you can shut down the edge images or all these optimization. It's it's a part of the deal. You are getting billed for that. There is no way to turn off that. Same is happening here or not. I'm not sure. I would love to know your thoughts on this one. But again, this war is getting uh, on to some part. I would love to see and explore. But yes, you get this idea that how you're going to see many more videos now in the SQL side as well, because there are lots of contender now. The Prisma is in the game now. Drizzle is definitely not in the game of databases, but they are in the game of ORMs and getting a lot of good attention. I would consider Planet Scale as a little out now, but we have Neon as well, which is pretty good contender. And we have a couple of more. We have now SQLite in the production as well. I'll probably talk about all of this in some separate videos. But this is all. Uh, I would love to ask you a simple question that do you know any other provider which are database as a service, which has a free plan as well? I would love to share it with all of my audience here. And it would be a good, good uh, feedback from your side as well that, hey, are we missing some of the more less popular uh, providers which are there for the SQL side or even in the NoSQL side as well. Let me know in the comment section, but hey, this is making things interesting. The drizzle in the space of database as well, database war continues, but are we getting the liberty and freedom of using it just as a database or it comes up as a bundle up? I haven't got answer for that. I probably need to uh, dig up more into that or probably get in touch with the team. So. Yeah, let's let's catch up. So this is a quick update. I'll be keep on throwing more such updates. So keep an eye out on the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll keep you updating on that.